Holy Spirit, I ask right now that your presence, I ask for your glory to begin to manifest. I ask for it to begin to bloom. And I pray that you would just transform and transfigure this moment to where we experience your glory. I ask for your glory to manifest within us. I pray even now as I speak your word, it is awakening on the inside of us. And I pray that your glory would begin to fill this atmosphere, that there would be a glory begin to overtake every individual underneath the sound of my voice. I pray that they begin to feel the passion of your heart, the fierce love that you have for them. I ask that you would take over. I ask that your glory manifest now in Jesus name. I pray. Amen. But I'm going to read some scriptures to you and I'm so excited about this word, but I was in prayer asking the Holy Spirit. I've been spe I've been spending deeper and deeper time in my my time with the Lord, I really sense that he's taking us deeper. He's taking us deeper in this season. He's burning away things that have been hindering our relationship with him. And as I was in prayer, I heard the Lord say, come out of hiding. It's time for my people to come out of hiding. It's time for you to come out of hiding. It is time for you to let go of where you have been hiding. For many of us, this is relationships. This is habits. These are places that we have felt and we have deemed off limits to the Lord. This is a moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a burning bush moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel the Holy Spirit even right now. I pray that this would be prophetically a burning bush moment for you. I hear the Lord saying, take off your shoes. This is holy ground. God wants to impart to you his holiness. He wants to impart to you his love. He wants you to experience his love in this season. I really, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, your life will never be the same from this video. You're getting ready to encounter his love. His love is what causes us to overcome. His love is what makes him holy. He is holy. God is love. And in Song of Songs, it's my favorite book of the Bible, if not one of my favorite books of the Bible. But hear the Lord. This is the Shulamite woman. This is the bride. This is us. Listen, I hear my lover's voice. I know it's him coming to me. He's leaping with joy over the mountains skipping in love over the hills that have separated us. There are things, there are hills and mountains that have separated to you, separated you from him. And many of them have been mountains that we have put up. They are walls that we have put up. They are masks that we have put on. And the Lord is causing us, he is calling us to take them off. She says, now he comes closer, even to the places where I hide. He gazes into my soul peering through the portal as he blossoms within my heart. The Lord Jesus, if you have been born again, his glory, his presence is within you. He is peering into your soul, longing to be invited in deeper into your life. And I'm not talking about just being saved, but it is moving deeper into salvation. He wants not just part of your life. He wants to consume all of your life. And the Lord says, the one I, the one I love calls to me. And he says, arise, my dearest, hurry, come away with me. I have come, as you have asked, to draw you to my heart and to lead you out. The Lord is ready to lead you out of the darkness. And for many of us, these are, these are places that we have remained in. They are places, I just feel this in my spirit. They, they, are, they are places that we have believed and we have deemed God cannot change. But nothing is impossible for those who believe. The Lord says, for now is the time, my beautiful one. 
you are beautiful in the eyes of God. When he gazes upon you, you are beautiful. Whether you're a, a male or a female, a woman or a man of God, you are beautiful. The Lord is saying, the season has changed. The bondage of your barren winter has ended. And the season of hiding is over and gone. And I prophesy to you, the Lord Jesus is a safe place to come out of hiding. He doesn't seek to condemn you, shame you, guilt you. He did not die on the cross for you so that he could hold it over your head. He died for you, shed his blood for you, to save you, to free you. He says, can you not discern this new day of destiny breaking forth around you? The early signs of my purposes and plans are beginning to burst forth. Now is the time to come out of hiding. And as I was meditating, as I was meditating on this, the Lord began to speak to my heart. He says, I want to burn up the old wineskins. I want to burn up the walls that you have put in. How you have been walking, you cannot carry the new that I am trying to give to you. There is something so pure. There is something so holy. There are things God is getting to, ready to release upon your life that are too pure, that are too pure. He wants to, he, he wants to, he wants to give you new wineskin. He wants to give you new garments. He wants to give you a new heart. He wants to give you a new life. He wants to give you a new identity. You are a new creation. He wants to fundamentally change your nature to begin to hold the magnitude of the miracles, the magnitude of blessing that he has for you. He wants to give you more and more of himself. I even just sense this right now in the spirit. I sense this so heavily in the book of Revelation when he says, I be behold, I stand at the door and knock. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. This is what the Lord is saying. The door is on the inside of us. In that scripture, behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's talking to born again believers. So this isn't just being saved so you can die and go to heaven. This is so that he can take you somewhere. He can lift you. He's saying, come away with me. He wants to take you higher. He wants to, the, the, the world is so heavy. The only way out is the Lord Jesus. He is the ultimate reality. There is a life to be lived. Scripture says we live, we move, and we have our being in him. The Lord is saying, I'm standing at the door knocking. If your heart is open to hear my voice and you open the door within, I will come into you and I will feast with you and you will feast with me. And then in the, the immediate next chapter, it says, then suddenly after I wrote these messages, I saw the portal open into the heavenly realm saying, the Lord saying, ascend into this realm. I want to reveal to you what must happen. God is taking his people. He is taking his church into a different place. Christianity, as we've known it up until this point is changing. How we've known and understood ministry is changing. God wants to set you free. He wants to give you new wine. And he's calling you to come out of hiding. And so I ask that the fire, that the white hot fire, it burns so literally in the, in the book of, thank you, Holy Spirit, in the book of Revelation, it crystal, it, it's more refined than even gold. And where God is bringing you, he is refining you so pure that you reflect his glory 24 seven. You are, you will become a highway of blessing. You become a highway for him to pour into you so that you and everything within your radius begins to change. And I ask you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, that your love would manifest, that your glory would awaken within them, within us in this season. It's in Jesus name that I pray. Amen. I want you to come into an agreement with this word. Comment. Amen. Receive it. Declare in the comments. I am coming out of hiding in Jesus name. I love you.